Welcome back to day nine of Vlogtober. I'm here with Sirius and we have a very exciting announcement. Halloween costumes have started arriving. So I'm gonna get her set up in this first costume and let's chat a little bit. All right, so this is the first costume that came in the mail. I say first costume skip because Sirius might be getting maybe four new costumes this year. No, we can take the tags off this one, which is a little bit excessive, but that's fine. Um, so Sirius last year was a bumblebee. This is Sirius. This is Sirius's third Halloween. She has been a bumblebee for her previous Halloween, and it's a really cute costume, and we will probably use it again this year as well at points. But we decided she needed a new costume this year. But then we couldn't decide which costume we were gonna get her. And I have some other costumes um, that belonged to, well, the costumes that belonged to my tiny dog that passed away in May, and costumes that belonged to my shepherd mix that passed away last October, but I couldn't bring myself to put those on her. Where's the tag? There it is. Um, loosen this part so thick. And we decided she just needed some of her own new costumes. Last year with her bumblebee costume, we all matched it and we won the family costume contest at our local, there we go, Newfoundland club. And so this is, I will say a very small 2XL costume, but I do believe it is gonna fit. Yes, okay, there we go. I have to get it in the right spot and get the Velcro in the right spot. Are you just the cutest octopus ever? So I actually don't know that this is gonna fit. This is a headpiece, but it's definitely too small for her head, but I think we can use it as kind of like a collar wrap a little bit and just have the eyes pop up. Yeah, do you like that? Like that, that's pretty cute. That's pretty cute, so you just see the little octopus eyes up there. Yeah, I know. Is that pretty cute? Pretty cute, oh my goodness. So, we, my partner and I went a little bit wild ordering good costumes for her this year, coming up with different ideas of what she could be. Getting some cookies out, do some shrinking. I love this costume. So this is the first one that came in the mail. This one came from Chewy, absolutely not sponsored. We bought this with our own money, I believe. I believe this one was $16 and is a size 2XL and it is barely a 2XL. It does fit her and it fits her actually really nicely. She can move really well in it. Um, as long as you're not attached to the headpiece, which definitely does not fit her particularly well, though it does work sort of as this collar. Um, this like sort of like collar accessory coat. I can see it better, maybe. Good girl. Um, but I like this costume a lot. I like the all the funny little octopus leggies on it and it does fit really nicely. It's a really simple costume. I think it was again like 15 or $16. Um, but definitely look at the size chart. I looked at the size chart. This is a tight fit for her, any giant bigger than her. I don't think it would fit. And again, she is small. I talked in yesterday's Q and A video. She's only 103, 105 pounds. So you tiny girl. Yeah. But I like this costume. I actually, it's good. Um, that's good. That's Halloween costumes are something I love doing with dogs. And as you can see, she's completely orbit. Not, not at all bothered. Orbit girl by wearing Halloween costumes and that's what I want it to be like. If you are curious about learning more about how I approach teaching dogs um, that Halloween costumes are fun, I have an article in Apartment Therapy um, online magazine that just was published this week. I will link in the description box below talking about how I teach hi, uh, Halloween costumes. How I teach hi dogs to enjoy wearing them and to make it stress-free, which is really the goal, right? So I think Halloween costumes are adorable, so it's something I start with 
with my puppies right away or when I brought home adult rescues similarly we start with them long before Halloween to make it super fun last year I know when we were at the go on our um, club Halloween costume party most of the dogs wanted their costumes off right away and this girl was more than happy to wear her costume really for the rest of the event because for her costumes are just kind of a normal thing they're highly rewarded and um, it doesn't bother her the key is really about fit again i talk about this in the article you'll see making sure the costumes are a good match for your dog or his um and then you know she is just as happy to wear this costume as she is to do anything else so i am super excited with this new costume that came in the mail day five yeah and we like to wear costumes on walks all month long in october especially now that it's cooled off helps to you know touch just bring a little bit of festive holiday cheer, which is something I think we all could use this year. So today's first costume is going to be this octopus, which we might try to re rework in some way to be Ursula. Would that be fun? Yeah, but I like this one. So there's three more coming. I'm sure that her bumble bear, bumblebee costume will also make an appearance in a video at some point this month. But this is a pretty good win for buying costumes online, not being able to try them on, just having to trust the size guide. This is the only one we ordered from Chewy, I think. Yeah, we ordered two more from Target and one from Amazon. So more Halloween costumes to come. <gasps> yeah, more Halloween costumes to come this month. Also, I got a follow-up question to our video yesterday, which was how we made the decision to get a Newfoundland, why we got a Newfoundland. And I thought that was such a good question because, you know, why, why? Um, you know, I love Newfoundlands. I think they're an incredible breed. I also spend a lot of time in the world talking people out of getting Newfoundlands for lots and lots of, I know. She says that's offensive. For lots of reasons. Good. They are really, really cool dogs, but they are not for everybody. You know, I think, you know, obviously the most obvious reason they're not for everybody is they are huge. They are drooly. They are um, messy because they're drooly. They have huge grooming requirements as we talked about yesterday. We groom every single day. Yeah, they are expensive, um, both in initial costs for responsible breeders. They are not a, I know they're not an inexpensive breed to breed um, because of all of the genetic testing that needs to be done, all the health testing that needs to be done, raising a dog this size, everything is more expensive. Food is more expensive, veterinary care is more expensive. Not every vet will be able to actually treat Newfoundlands. Um, at our first vet in New York, we had to actually go to their sister practice to get um, some x-rays done or in some surgical, and when she got spayed, and Paxade had to do that there because they didn't have a large enough operating table to handle a magnificent dog all of your size. So, you know, those are challenges. Um, lots and lots of reasons why people might not want a Newfoundland, but why did we want a Newfoundland? So I fell in love with Newfs over 20 years ago when I was actively showing dogs. I knew some Newfoundlands who were performance dogs, and I thought they were just absolutely the coolest. And it was definitely a, you know, I don't really have a bucket list, but if I had a bucket list for dogs that I wanted to share my life with, a Newf would definitely have been on that bucket list. I am kind of a unique um, breed person, I would say, in that I love lots and lots of breeds. And so I've actually never had, um, but serious, we're not going to take those cookies, okay? She's like, you put, you put the bag of cookies, touch on the window, so come, touch. Thank you. She's like, I could probably reach them. I know. We're talking about why we wanted a Newfoundland, okay? She's like, because we can reach bags of cookies on windows? Yes. Um, I've never had more than one of any of the breeds that I've been blessed enough to have, so I'm not somebody who tends to be um, 
deeply sort of likely to get multiple dogs of the same breed. That said, I'm very, very committed to whatever breeds I have. We're members of our local Newf club, do a lot of stuff with Newfs. But um, I knew that I wanted the chance to have a giant dog someday. And I knew if I was gonna have a giant dog, it was that a Newf was just a really good fit temperament wise for my you know, ideas of what I wanted to do sport and performance wise, as well as just our lifestyle. Um, in terms of that we have cats and yes, I know, you know, and I can make a whole video about why I think sort of the stereotype of like the gentle giant doesn't necessarily do right by Newfoundlands and does a little bit of a new disservice to them. That said, compared to other giants, um, like wolfhounds that are sight hounds, that are sight hounds and that kind of thing it just wasn't a good fit. So those were... That was part of why in Newfoundland's mostly just, I love the breed, I think they're incredible. I think that they have a really cool drive and temperament that was a really good fit for what we wanted to do. Huh. And so it was a plan that when we moved out of our apartment in New York, that we would get a Newfoundland and we um, moved to our house in Brooklyn and that was very, very, I know, that was very, very exciting. So she was a very, very, very planned baby. A lot of research, a lot of planning went in and she was um, many, many years in the dreaming before before my big new baby came home. But that's kind of the quick answer for why Newfoundland. It's about wanting to have had the experience of having a giant, wanting to have had a giant in my 30s. Um, that's something my partner and I were also really cognizant about. We didn't want to have a giant um, potentially at a point when it would be more physically difficult for us to lift a dog of that size. So when we were in all things considered relatively good health, seemed like a really good time to do that. Yeah, being in our 30s when we had the time, um, yeah, the time, the money, and ability to focus on all of the things the doggo like you needs. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please subscribe. If you have not already subscribed, did you just drool? Please um, subscribe. Did I say that? Please like the video. Please subscribe. And we will see you in tomorrow's Vlogtober video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.